Hello everyone, it's me again, GW Fan the Soccer Bunny, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. I could have gone back to Rogueport and I actually strongly considered it just to get the uh, the quick change badge because it could be mildly useful here, but eh, it's not really necessary, but anyway. The Moonstone, since we got those last time. Moonstone and the Sunstone. Whoa. Oh. Look at that. Hmm. Doesn't seem to do anything, though. Let's see, what's this? Here beginneth the path to Dread Hooktail Castle. <laughs> anyway. Power of two must hit if both switches simultaneously. Ah. Appendum, eh? Or, ad or addendum, excuse me. <laughs> Huzzah! This really was written by Princess Luna! So, basically, all we need to do is, well, send on either side of these. Remember, if you press X, that coops will bounce. Or we can bounce off the coops. But, if we hold the X button, it'll stay in place until we let go of the button. Although, this doesn't seem to do anything on its own, but... If we let go of the button and then immediately press B, we can press these simultaneously. And a new path opens up. Including a pipe back there, there in the background, so awesome! And there's nothing to the left back here, so only place to go to is Hooktail's Castle. At last. Got a save point. Might as well make use of that, why not? Ooh. Imposing place. Oh, it's just Hooktail Castle. Like, not Hooktails, just Hooktail Castle. Okay. I think that I don't think Goombella says anything if you come here with, with you know with her as your immediate partner. I think only Coops does, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, I want to come down here real quick and uh, carefully make my way across these because <laughs> don't want to fall there. Badge HP plus badge only costs uh, three. Oh, got a couple badges there. I don't really feel I need. Oops that I need the... Well, actually, I don't need these. Yeah, I'm not going to need those at all. Uh, I don't really feel I need HP Plus right now, so... Yeah, Happy Heart? Why not? <laughs> anyway. Hey, he jumps with me. Good job, Coops. Now, unfortunately, we can't get across the bridge like this because it's a little too wide. I mean, yeah, Coops can go over there, but he has to come back for some reason, so... Instead, bouncing on this and pressing this away. Heal if we need to. Cost six coins. That's yeah, not very expensive, but still, yeah, if you really need it, there it is. Anyhow. The plane! The plane! Don't need to go that far. Yeah, can't go back the same way. We'd fall in the water there. Not good. Actually, is the bridge coming to the end of there? But I don't know why these are star-shaped. I don't know how that works. But, well, actually, no, it's because the floor is star-shaped. It's not the light is. Oh. <laughs> or the star patterns. Oh, okay, that's why it looks like it's star-shaped. But anyway, don't worry about coming up here. I mean, I'll show you what's up here. It's just a way back. It's just another one of these plane panels. You know, if you absolutely need to get back, so... We don't need to worry about that, though. Whoa! New enemy! Wow, you came up way higher than I was expecting there. Yeah, new enemy. Uh, in fact, for early part of this place, I actually want Goombella, not Coops. Come here, dude. Definitely want to jump on you. And make sure you do it twice. Because if you only do it once, well, they'll turn into a regular Koopa either way. But if you just do it once, they'll only fall to the ground just as a regular Koopa. They won't fall on their back. So... Yeah, I got no choice for what the paratroopers. I've got to leave the one guy up there. So, 
Uh, oh, he's throwing something beneficial. Power Punch. Sweet! That's actually really nice. Boost your partner's attack power by, I think, like, two? It, it says partner, but it can be either your partner or Mario. It doesn't matter which one. So, anyway. <laughs> well, that's nice. Yeah, this time she'll actually tell us what his stats are. Basically, you can with wings. Oh, defense is one. Okay, my bad. I thought it was two. But yeah, it's only one. So we can hit them with a hammer if we really want to. Hmm, again, Goombella, you're jealous of flight. I don't, not that like it's a theme or anything, but apparently she really wants wings. Yeah, do that in his arms. Yeah, stop again to flip him. His arms and legs are useless. Oh, he can still wiggle them around a bit, but... Oh. Yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna try to super guard that. That one's a little bit beyond my personal skill there, or practice at least, so... Anyway! Awesome. Let's see... Just... Oh! I gotta jump on that guy. Whoops. I didn't even notice that guy. Oh well. Yeah, jump on you as well. Actually, I'll hammer you and then jump on the other guy, because... Just for a little variety there, because yeah, they're just regular Koopas now, so... I don't need healing. I haven't taken... Well, actually, I have taken damage, but I was healed already thanks to my... Oh, thanks to my, uh... What was it? Happy Heart, was it? Anyway... You're down for the count. I mean, the other guy technically is already down for the count, but... Oop. Mess it up again. Got flower. Awesome. Seems like the healing for hearts is a lot more frequent than flowers, but I suppose in a certain light that kind of makes more sense. Bam! Awesome. There should be another one over here. Oh, honey syrup. Sweet. I don't probably not, I mean, I always save those. Like, I had them in my inventory at all times, but I don't ever end up using them. Isn't there one more guy over here? Yep, there he is. Oh! Oh, crud. That's bad. Oh, man. Well! Oop, I didn't get that one, but anyway. Who's... Oh, you're throwing flower points at me. Okay, thanks. And I do not want you using that power block on me, although I would actually kind of like it. It would be useful for the near future. I could have went back and bought one, but eh, it wasn't that necessary. I mean, I can do without it, even though it would be useful for a fight that's upcoming here, but oh well. Hopefully he'll drop it, but odds are, I mean, there's not, he's, it's not guaranteed he will, as we've seen several times before, so. Hey, thanks to that badge, you got all my flower points back. I mean, I got some flowers there anyway, but anyhow, here we get the almighty power bounce, which works essentially like the super jump from Mario RPG, or, well, power bounce in the last game. I, I don't think it's anything. It might, does it cost the same? It might cost a little bit more this time around. I think it was only, it wasn't it only two in the last game? But in any case, just like the last game, I'm banning the use of this because I could potentially beat just about any boss in like two to three turns with this. <laughs> so, not that alone, but you know, with that aiding. So, anyway. Hmm. I'm doing that on my own there. It's not something that happens automatically. <laughs> Molten dust, great. <laughs> anyway, this is nice. Hey. Huh? What's up, Coops? How? What? Oh no! the blue shoes, isn't it? Huh? Oh. 
I think you have to read it. I think so. Okay. Yeah, let's read this. You didn't make it very far. I, I have. I hate to say, but. Uh, Oh. Kerr and Icket. Hmm, I wonder what that could possibly be. Okay. Why would it be... What is it with these villains and keeping their own weaknesses in their own castles? You see it all the time in fiction. You think they'd, like... Hide it somewhere way far away or something, but no. Oh, oh yeah? Uh, don't give in to your kinder nature, eh? Well, Mario's not necessarily known for his kinder nature, considering how many creatures he's killed over the years with his, by stomping on them, but... Huh. What? Wait. Colorado? Really? He's not even in this game and he's annoying me. Ah! Still, considering how, who, or what Colorado's personality is like, I wonder if he even knows his father's dead or gone or missing or what have you. Which I guess means that this is Colorado's hometown? Huh, interesting. Over where? Anyway, we can read that message as much as we want. But, uh, yeah, let's switch back to Goombella again. And, uh... Hmm. Oh, yeah? That's me using the X again. Yeah, I guess not. It's kind of blocking the door there, so... Blarf? Is that a different way of saying barf? Uh. Whoa. Okay. Ah! <laughs> <Not skulls. laughs> oh man! <sighs> Can't make any headway, but. Can pound them out of the way for some reason. So uh, yeah, and make our way to the red guy. Oh wow, look at that guy in the back has healing. That's kind of sucks. Anyway, uh, well, Gumbella, if you please. This is actually gonna kind of suck a little bit, but since I'm tattling it, I could wait to tattle other dull bones. You also notice the dull bones in the audience. Uh, well, they throw bones at you. <laughs> Don't they do something else, too? I forget. I'll have to look that up now. I don't remember exactly what they do. But, yeah, I'll go ahead and tattle these guys now. Get dull bones. It was a Koopa Troopa once. Yeah, only one HP, but they also have one defense. So, unfortunately, my multi-bounce doesn't help in this case. But... Ah. They build reinforcements, huh? Oh, I see. So in this case, I actually, I mean, I could kill the one in front, but yeah, he could just, they could just make another one, which will take up one of their turns, but uh, I actually want to switch out, I mean, this would be a lot easier if I had the quick change, but uh, I actually want to switch out to Koops, because Koops has a special innate ability, ah! as I'm not paying the least bit of attention. Ah! He has innate one defense. That guy does the most damage. So, he's a bit... Ouch. I thought I was going for Koops. <laughs> so, he's a bit tougher than the uh, other party members. Although, on the flip side, if he gets jumped on, just like a regular Koopa, uh, he will end up uh, falling on his back, and his defense will drop to zero for, like, up to two turns, I think. And that's bad, but it's... I've literally only ever seen that once, so it's really rare. But anyway, let's use the old PowerShell. 
which does two points of damage to all enemies, just like his power shell does two points of damage to one enemy. That's just enough to kill all these guys. So, release! Oh, I didn't get the second one in there. The second one, there, he's actually the only party member that has two. As it were. And let's switch back to Gimbella now. Ow. Yeah, because I wanted to tattle there. Red bones. A little too red. Yep, 5 HP. 3 attack, so he's a little tougher than the other... Uh, Dull bones, I was thinking, it's not dry bones. But yeah, this guy will actually wake up if you kill him. So you can't really kill him first. Not that you could anyway, because you can't, like, jump on him. It wouldn't do any damage, so. Now he can make more dull bones, which I think this is what she says right here. Yeah. Which he might end up doing, but. Well, actually, I guess I could do a power jump, but eh, it's not really a concern. He'll go down in two turns anyway, so is he gonna make one? Nope. Jerk. Ow. Uh, yeah, let's switch to Coops. And... Okay, you. Jerk. Stop that. I'm already up to 50? Jeez. Actually, do these guys give any stars? Now that I think about it? Yeah, you know what? Screw you. I'm power jumping you. I'll get my power back anyway. Yeah, it would have been a little easier if I had a power block, because I wouldn't have had to do the whole switching thing, but... Well... Mario ain't doing so good, but... Let's sort those. I mean, I do have... Oop. I do have more mushrooms than I know what to do with, so... Or that I am never gonna need. I don't know if I should use that power punch. I normally wouldn't have that right now. Or is it punch? It was power punch, wasn't it? Yeah, power punch. <laughs> but anyway, we got more dry bones. Or, uh, excuse me, dull bones. Same as the other guy. Ooh, a bunch of them. Alright, in this case, since there are so many of them, I mean, well... Oh, jeez. Their defense matters, so <laughs> Coops wouldn't have been hurt by that anyway. Uh, well, you know what? Never mind. I could hit all of them with Coops, but why waste the FP? I mean, there's only the one guy. Oh. Well, maybe I should have put Coops in the lead, but there's no guarantee that it'll hit Coops anyway, so. But yeah, what I was saying about his Coops' stylish moves, he's the only partner that can do two stylish moves in one turn. Uh, which I totally screwed up. Somehow, wow. Hey, Coops, try that again, would you? Yeah, for that one, that second stylish move, it kind of basically press the button pretty much right when the other stylish one come like is spelled out in full. There, and uh, it's kind of hard to, and you know, when it's done doing it, it's kind of little bouncing into place bit. But anyway. <laughs> Here we get a Shine Sprite, which lets us promote our partners, but we had to have three of these to do it, so... Hey, you. Oh, alright, more FP, sweet. I think that's it for those guys, but... Hmm, locked door, eh? Well, we've got these blocks, but we can't do anything with those blocks for the time being, so... And unfortunately, that doesn't do anything right now. So, instead... Let's pull that down, and before we go anywhere, I would like to... Go ahead and hold you in place, and... Jump up here. Claim a star piece, sweet! Only thing we can do up there, so... Anyhow... Jumping across, kill that. Now we can hit this but button. And now I can use that yellow block to go up there, but 
Uh, and there is a platform up there that, well, technically you could jump to, but not under my current jumping ability. It's a little too far, kind of like this. Basically, I just want this castle key there, but yeah, there is a platform above us, but we can't actually get up there from that way, at least not at this point in the game. Uh, I mean, we will be able to do it <laughs> while we're here, but uh, I'm gonna have to go around a slightly different way. So anyhow, castle key there. More of you guys. I don't think any of them actually are up, though. So, yeah, we'll just save here. Don't bother going up there right now. There's, uh, well, I mean, there is an up there, but there's also a locked door, so there's nothing we can really do there for the most part. So, we'll just head on to the right next time on Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Arrivederci!